40,000 people are to be tested for the deadly tuberculosis strain XDR-TB. The killer disease has already claimed more than 200 lives, and months after the first deaths were reported, officials still don't know the extent of the outbreak. Ground zero for extreme drug-resistant tuberculosis, better known as XDR-TB. Dozens had died here in Tugela Ferry in KwaZulu-Natal by the time officials realized there was a crisis late last year. And since then, it spread across the country. Latest official figures put the death toll at 237. The XDR-TB strain is resistant to most treatments. And we still don't know how many TB patients may be carriers. The World Health Organization is now helping. It wants to run tests looking for XDR-TB and multiple drug-resistant TB. Uh, as of April 1st, there will be 40,000 TB suspects in the country that will be uh, tested for MDR and XDR. It's not yet clear how long this process will take. The World Health Organization says it's satisfied with government's response so far. But it's worried the deadly TB may have spread beyond our borders. It's also planning to test for the disease in Lesotho. Kale Naya, E! News, Johannesburg. Last night we reported that Danel's Royfalk attack helicopter was to be grounded. This follows the collapse of attempts to sell the chopper abroad. However, the Royfalk remains in operation in the South African Air Force. The future of the helicopter is still to be decided by Danel and the military. Let's take a quick look now at the markets.